Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Satoshi Hoshino. I am from Utsunomiya University, Japan. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about imitation learning based on data augmentation for robotic reaching. We are nowadays focusing on robotic object handling tasks, as you can see in this movie. For example, for factory automation, material handling robots play an important role. In order to handle materials, robots are required to move their hands close to target objects. In this work, therefore, we present a motion planner for this hand leaching task. In recent years, motion planners based on deep neural networks have been proposed for the robotic hand leaching tasks. The deep neural networks plays a role of a decision-making policy in the motion planner. For the motion planner, RGB images are fed as the inputs. Then, leaching motions for the inputs are planned as the outputs by the policy. For this, input and output mapping, imitation learning through motion instruction is applied beforehand. For imitation learning, first off, a supervisor instructs a robot to reach the hand toward a target object. At the same time, the robot registers the sensor inputs and motion outputs instructed by the supervisor. These are used in the training data set D. In this regard, the supervisor's policy is assumed to be an optimal. So the robot is instructed to optimally reach the hand toward an object for the sensor input ST by the supervisor. On the other hand, the policy of the robot in the training phase is instructed, is represented as you can see here. C2 indicates network parameters. Therefore, the network parameters are optimized with this objective function in the learning phase. By repeatedly updating the robot policy, it approaches the optimum. In doing so, the leaching motions become increasingly similar in the ones instructed by the supervisor. Finally, this optimized robot policy is used in the motion planner. Through imitation learning, the robot is able to uh, reach the hand toward the object as instructed by the supervisor. This is called as behavior cloning. However, once the target object is changed to unknown, which is red position in this case here and here from the robot's view, it is pretty much difficult for the robot to plan the reaching motion toward this red object. For this problem thus far, reaching motions were instructed as many as possible for an object placed at a lot of positions. However, this approach increases the instruction cost. Therefore, in our approach, the robot is instructed to read the hand toward an object placed at limited number of known positions. Using a few training data set, the robot plan the reaching motions toward an object placed at not only known positions, but also unknown positions. For this purpose, uh, data augmentation with noise injection is applied to the training data set. In order for the robot to reach the hand toward the object placed at unknown positions, it is required to plan other motion trajectories toward the unknown positions, which are different from the instructed ones for the known positions. Therefore, uh, we focus on these instructed trajectories and propose to inject Gaussian noise into the hand positions. Here, P any indicates the initial hand position. So the instructed trajectory 
is composed of the sequence of the hand positions toward the object placed at a known position of O here. In this data augmentation, Gaussian noise based on the variance is injected into the hand position, where the variance is calculated depending on the distance between the two instructed trajectories. By injecting the noise into the instructed trajectory, other trajectories are finally generated, as you can see here. So this is the augmented data uh, and used for used for tra network training. Here, let me talk about the overall flow of the robotic reaching. Given the robot equipped with a stereo camera. Right and left images are obtained from the sensor. These two images are then fed as the inputs into the grasping classifier, just as you can see here. And this grasping classifier results in a hand motion, which is open or closed for the input images. If the classification result is open, the images are further fed as the input into the reaching motion planner. Afterward, the hand position is planned at the motion output. The robot solves inverse kinematics so as to move the hands to the planned position. Finally, the robot grasps the target object when the classification result is closed. Uh, here, let me uh, explain the leaching motion planner based on CAE, convolutional encoder, and LNN, recurrent neural network, in detail. The upper part of the structure is composed of the convolutional encoder. And in this network, the image features are extracted just along here. And the lower part is composed of the recurrent neural network. So the extracted image features are then fed as inputs into the LNN. From this LNN, the hand position is derived as the output and sent to the robot. Okay, in this experiment, we imposed reaching tasks toward an object in front of the robot. The robot uses only the right hand. In the instruction phase, the object, this object was placed at in total five positions, A, B, C, D, and E, as the known positions. In the motion planning phase, this object was placed at four positions, F, G, H, and I, as the unknown positions, in addition to these known positions. These movies show the reaching hand from the robot's view to the object placed at the known positions during the instruction phase. Please note that although the robot transports the object after grasping, as you can see here in this movie, we here focus only on the reaching motion from the initial position toward the target object. Okay. Uh, let us first show the reconstructed images and the convolutional encoder, CAE. These, these are input images uh, of the object placed at the known and unknown positions. For the, own, for the, object, for the object placed at the known positions, and you can see here, both the object and robot hand were clearly shown in the reconstructed images. For the object placed at the unknown positions, moreover, both uh, the object and robot hand were also shown in the reconstructed images. So these results indicates, indicate that the collect image features were extracted and fed as the inputs into the recurrent, uh, recurrent neural network. For comparison purpose, we used to two motion planners based on the one with data augmentation and the other one 
without data augmentation. This is a result of the reaching tasks through the object placed at the known and unknown positions. For the, for the known positions, both the motion planets one and two succeeded in the reaching tasks, as you can see here. This result indicates that the data augmentation based on the noise injection, which is uh, prana one, uh, does not have a negative influence on the robotic reaching through the known positions. As for the unknown positions, the second motion planner without data augmentation failed in the reaching tasks. In contrast to this result, the first motion planner with data augmentation succeeded in the reaching tasks. For your information, uh, let me show you the injected, injected noise. Noises. We can see that the gray noises spread to the unknown positions F, G, H, and I. Uh, in addition to in addition to along the instructed trajectories from here toward A, B, C, D, and E. So the motion planner was the documentation successfully enabled the robot to reach the hand toward the object even at the unknown positions. Okay, in conclusions, we presented an end-to-end -end leaching motion planner based on two types of deep neural networks through imitation learning. Uh, for the problem of imitation learning, we applied data augmentation with noise injection. Through imitation learning uh, with data augmentation, the robot based on the motion planner successfully reached the hand to the, to the object placed at both the known and unknown positions. These results show the effectiveness of the presented motion planner for the reaching problem. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your kind attention.